Uh, hi guys, uh, this is Jay Jananovic and uh, welcome to another of my tutorials. Uh, in the last video, uh, I have been talking about uh, how to create uh, your own uh, uh, vector uh, grungy texture uh, from your own image. And uh, this time, uh, I will show you uh, how to use that texture uh, to make a, a custom uh, your own uh, custom brush in uh, Adobe Photoshop. Uh, so you end up uh, with something like this. Uh, and the, the, the brush uh, I created earlier is uh, here. And if I select it, uh, I can use it uh, as any other brush. Uh, so this is a efficient way of creating uh, your own uh, uh, resources. Uh, so. Uh, if you followed my uh, last video, uh, you, you should know uh, how to come to this point, and that is the, the gain this this uh, scattered uh, texture. And uh, I will show you uh, how to use Adobe Illustrator uh, to gain uh, some more uh, detail uh, on on these uh, on this texture. So if I copy this this original one uh, here and use the the sort and transform tool and say roughen uh, with the preview button uh, I can adjust the size of my detail uh, which I uh, can later export to Photoshop let's see here let's make this 1% okay. okay this is one method and the other uh, is uh, by using by using the zigzag uh, option. So uh, I'll go again to the sort and transform and say zigzag, and uh, we get uh, something like a snowflakes, but we don't want that. I will leave, I think we'll leave it to the absolute here slider. Yes. Let's see, segments one, zero. Does it do anything? Okay. We can say here. And we can leave it this, this way. Uh, so now uh, we have altered this original texture, uh, which uh, we now uh, have to uh, import into Photoshop. Uh, so whenever whichever texture you want uh, you can just select it select it and press ctrl c uh, so this is now copied in copied to the clipboard and if we create a new document uh, these dimensions uh, will actually uh, define our brush uh, later on so i'll put 2000 by 2000 pixels and say OK. And uh, I'll create a new layer here and uh, press Ctrl V to paste. And uh, Photoshop is asking me uh, if I want to paste this as a smart object or as a pixels. I'll choose smart object because I can scale this up now. And uh, this is actually a, a vector file from Illustrator. Because this is a grunge texture, we don't need to pay attention to these uh, little details. Uh, I'll select these two layers and press Ctrl E to merge them. And then what we have to do is uh, go to Edit and Define Brush a Preset. I'll name it New. Click OK. Uh, we see that the uh, resolution is 2000. I press OK. And then when I make a new layer, go to the bottom, we have our new brush here. I'll put the color to black. And uh, if I click, this is what happens. A perfectly crisp and uh, a high, uh, high definition and high quality uh, brush in Photoshop. Uh, what you can do uh, else uh, is Go to the brush panel. I think it's 
you need to go to press press that manager uh, scroll down to this brush or you can select these two and say save set my grunge brushes and save and now we have a separate file uh, that uh, that has that that contains uh, our two freshly made uh, brushes uh, by using Adobe Illustrator and uh, Photoshop uh, you can send this to your friends you can sell it if you if you have uh, somewhere to do that uh, you can do whatever you want with it uh, i hope this tutorial helped you uh, if you if did if it did uh, please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time goodbye